Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to joint long boards using just your table saw and a factory straight edge. What I mean by factory edge is a piece of trim or a piece of long board that has been manufactured or factory cut to a perfect edge and perfect squareness such as this piece of outdoor trim that I'm going to use. I've got one edge that's been cut by yours truly and one edge that is the factory edge when I purchased the piece of board. Because I'm building an outdoor gate, I've got 10 boards to joint. They're rough sawn sawmill boards of one by six cedar and I'm gonna use this factory edge to get a perfect square edge on one side first and then we'll match it on the other side. Now many people have commented and asked me in the past, Hey, Eric, why don't you have a benchtop jointer? You can do this all on a benchtop jointer and they're really not that expensive. You can usually pick one up for around three or four hundred bucks. While it's true that benchtop jointers have come down in price, the problem with using benchtop jointers for this type of operation is that it really doesn't get you that much further ahead. And in fact, trying to get an in-feed and out-feed set up for a particularly long board, these are all nine and 10 foot boards they're rough from the sawmill. So trying to feed those through on a bench top jointer really doesn't get you that much further ahead. When I learned woodworking initially, I had access to an entirely fully equipped industrial shop. I had the luxury of using a big eight inch wide jointer that could do not only the edge jointing, but could also plane a lot of the surfaces. That had an enormous in-feed, out-feed capability and everything turned out perfectly square when you were finished. When you go to a smaller shop like this one and you start working with bench top power tools and things like that, you find out that some of those power tools don't do as good a job as you were hoping. I find the table saw method works really great and gives me consistent results. So I've got a lot of work to do. Let's get to it. I don't know if you can really see that. I'll try and pencil it in a bit. I've jointed the board, but I've got little saw marks, really small, tiny, tiny saw marks along the board. This is fine. I can use these boards for the outdoor project and it won't cause any problems. They've been jointed adequately. If I'm going to use this board for a glue ready edge, I have one extra step. I've got my smoothing plane here, my number four smoothing plane, and I've already adjusted it so that it's gonna take off a very thin sliver. So now I've got, got my board clamped onto my ledge at the front of my workbench, and I'm ready to go. I'll try and get it all in one pass if I can.
now you can see the saw marks are gone. We've got a nice glue ready edge. Well that concludes how to use your table saw to joint long boards perfectly and also how to follow up with your number four smoothing plane to get a glue ready edge if that's what you need. Now of course I'm not going to neglect to mention that there is a way to do this on the router table as well. You can set up your router table to become basically a jointer. The problem with that and the thing I hate about doing it on the router is that it makes an enormous mess. It causes a lot of fine dust in the air and a lot of shavings everywhere and I try to avoid that as much as I can. My table saw gets better dust collection so I stick with the table saw method or I'll use my electric hand planer if the boards are around four or five feet long. Your table saw will definitely do the job just fine. Never feel like you don't have enough tools to do the job. If you'd like to help me continue to make and edit these videos, head on over to my donation page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are a couple more videos on this side you can watch. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.